Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to July's wrap up, y'all. Summer is coming to an end. I mean, it's not like officially, but it's like I see the darkness of the fall. For y'all, summer lovers out there, what is wrong with y'all? It's so hot. Like, why do y'all like it? I try to get a little summer, like, orange stuff going on here also i do want to go ahead and officially announce it here because i technically didn't well i didn't technically i didn't announce it in my july board game wrap up that that was actually going to be the last one that i was gonna do also i didn't come up to with that conclusion until like some weeks ago so i didn't even think about it and uh, just because i do like re not rewatch i do replay a lot of the same games so it, it ended up not being worth doing those videos because if anything i maybe had like one or two new games that i was playing so there was no point really in like doing a whole video about the same place if that makes sense you know let's get on with our wrap up of what i watched in the month of july rewatches first time watches and then what came out in july 2023 there will be like times below if you want to jump around if you just want to get to what i watched in july 2023 like the new releases then you can skip ahead there are a lot of people over there making a lot of noise even though i see quiet on set so we're gonna move past it okay so first up we have breaking dawn part one y'all i was definitely a twilight fan when it was on team jacob all the way i love twilight I don't care how like cringe how bad it's a feel-good movie but I don't want to put it down there in the feel-good because it's more I just I love this one especially feel-good would probably be more like new moon I love new moon new moon's probably one of them I love all of them except twilight the first one this is my least favorite but I love new moon oh eclipse eclipse would probably be like feel good maybe I don't know I know a lot of people don't like new moon but I don't know there's something about it that I'm just like comfort we are going to fall. Uh, fall okay um i have a review on fall it's one of those kind of like 47 meters down where they're like out there doing some crazy ass shit that they shouldn't be like climbing up this big old light tower because who adrenaline you can say it like yeah danger you're danger yourself right off that damn bridge no not bridge tower even the second time around it gave me so much anxiety oh she's like ah. even though i knew what's gonna happen now but still even when i was up there i said oh my god i don't know i think as i got older i have more of your heights in a way i don't know i think it's a really great movie i really really enjoy it definitely recommend it if you haven't watched it already i think it's on prime then i rewatched the fear uh street trilogy it is on Netflix. It came out a couple years ago. I do have a review on all three of them. Of course, that's always anything that I have reviewed, whether it's new or old, will be in the description down below if you'd like to uh, take a look. But Fear Street, uh, as a whole, I'm just going to talk about it as a whole. As you can see, there's only one poster. I really, really l love this this series. This not series. It's um, trilogy. Uh, we kind of start in, well, we don't kind of. We start in the 90s, and then we go to the 70s, and then we go into 1666, because, you know, like, demon stuff, which is with the start of it all. And then we jump back to the 90s. And I absolutely love it, because, you know, I'm like child of the 90s. I love all of them. I think the, seven, the 1970 was probably my favorite. And I think when I watched it the first time, the 90s was probably my favorite. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. It's creepy there's like some possession some curses happening uh it's on netflix it's a netflix original it's really good it's one of the rare good because there's another one on here that's on netflix and i was just like no but this one is is, is good it's my second time watching it you're probably like stephanie you say you don't like scary stuff i don't like scary stuff but there's like some spooky thing that all like this wasn't like super scary it has some creepy parts to it but it was fine like i was able to handle it and then Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, one of my all-time favorite movies. Let's just go there under favorite. One of my all-time favorite movies. I think it's like number two. Number one. Number one. Oh my god, it's absolutely wonderful. I don't remember if I saw it the first time in theaters, to be honest with you. I keep rethinking it. And I'm like, I, I know for sure I saw I World's in like from World's End, no. Maybe from the second one, Dead Man's Chess. I feel like I may have seen all of them in theater. I just don't remember. Now we're going to first time watches. All right. Uh, Momentum. Memento. <laughs> Mentos. 
and you go, Christopher Nolan. I've been trying to watch this movie forever today. I've actually been trying to go through Christopher Nolan's like whole blog um, so I could rank his movies. I think I need three other movies of his to watch. I keep trying to call him Mentos. <laughs> Memento? Memento? Am I saying that right? Sounds weird. This is that movie that is told backwards. Out of order. Not out of order. It's just told backwards. We see, we see what happens, the outcome, and then we kind of go back. And so the main guy, don't don't ask me his name, he has like, not short term memory loss, like I guess like a short term memory loss. He has a disability. He got hit in the head, bam, and he can't retain any like new information from whatever day, like that day on. Like once he goes to sleep, boop, his mind wipes. Think about it like Drew Barrymore, 51st dates, kind of the same thing, okay? I don't know what I did, what's going on, but he takes photographs and he tattoos stuff on himself to try to leave himself clues because he's trying to figure out who killed his wife but that's how he also remembers things i had to like pause it for a moment because i kind of got a little sleepy and i was like okay let me go like uh, took a little quick power nap came back and i wasn't totally feeling the movie to be honest with you i know it's like really really beloved once we get to oppenheimer though i will kind of mention what i have now come to know about Christopher Nolan. <laughs> about Christopher Nolan. The movie, it, it's really well done. I, I, it's a very interesting way, right, to tell the movie backwards and stuff. But it just, it wasn't for me. But I will say the ending, the beginning, well, I said, excuse me, sir? No, you didn't. But yes, he did. Honestly, the beginning, because it's, the end you know is really what saved the movie for me personally because if it didn't have that ending beginning part you know i would have been like no but i don't know where i want to put it it's not a feel-good movie okay was it a great movie no okay i'm gonna say it was okay <laughs> it was okay that's where it is what's the name of this movie the secret society a light society is that what it is this came out earlier in the year i'm glad i didn't watch it in theaters i honestly don't remember what it's about oh uh the sister ends up finding marrying this guy well no, engage what well, he's about to marry but there's like secret stuff happening ooh, ooh, ooh. family secrets little sister doesn't like trust the guy he's all like wait who are you what are you doing to my sister because they were like best friends so it kind of goes into are you jealous because she's now leaving you to be with this guy but then it's like oh no there really is something behind it i wasn't really here for it i i when i remember seeing the trailer it gave me different vibes than what i got i'm just gonna say it was okay as well it just didn't stick with me it was just not memorable honestly it just wasn't memorable. i should put another tier non memorable now we have nimona oh wait did that come out in july no it came out in june it came at the end of june this is an animated movie also on netflix i like the animation i like the overall story the main character the guy um he wasn't royalty or whatever he's kind of like from like a simpleton I don't know I don't really know how to explain it I'm like terrible this month y'all it's hot <laughs> and we're trying to cruise through this video and I don't want to like spoil too many things for you also we're gonna go with that we're not trying to spoil and we're trying to keep it like very secretive but like if you've seen the movies then you know you will decipher what I'm trying to say right we like this yes and I really ultimately love the story was really touching. It didn't end up taking me two days to watch it because like I kind of started it like really late at night. One of those nights and you're like, oh, I'm like good. I'm not sleepy. I can watch a movie. This was not that long. And then as you're like watching the movies, like suddenly you're like, oh crap, it's like late at night. Why am I still like up? And you try to hold up and you're like, no, let me let me put pause. And then I finished it in the morning. Not that it was terrible. It was just, it was late. I, I didn't think I was as tired as I actually was. But even with that like paused in the middle overnight because the touchy stuff kind of happened the next morning um i got a little bit emotional and i just know that if i had stayed and watched the whole thing i feel like i definitely would have cried a little bit more because i would have still had like that whole like connection you know when you're watching the whole movie and it just kind of showcases you know like how bullying and the extent of bullying can lead to for people doing harm not just to themselves but harm to other people 
and you ultimately just need that one person to be like hey you know like I see you really really good I'm gonna say it was a pretty uh, feel good movie I it's not my favorite animated movie so if you jumped ahead and you're like have I made it to the July 2023 releases you are Correct, you are in the right place, y'all. We're starting off with Netflix, and then we're gonna go on into um, theatrical releases, okay? <sighs> the Outlaws, y'all. The Outlaws. So I had hopes for The Outlaws. I was gonna review The Outlaws, but then I was just kind of mad, and then I was just like, no, I'm not doing it. But I had hopes for it, I really did. When I saw the trailer, I said, okay, you look funny. I laughed at the trailer, y'all watched the movie came you know came out and I said okay we're gonna watch you I'm excited this could be a funny movie <sighs> it would have been a funny movie if Adam Devine wasn't in there or wait did I review the outlaws I feel like I talked about it <gasps> I did do a review I never edited it <laughs> I never edited it. Adam Devine had just gone from here to here and just kind of matched everybody. It would have been a good movie. Honestly, the moment that I saw Happy Madison, I said, oh no, oh no, this is gonna be terrible. Just from the opening, I just already knew it. He was just super, super cringe, you, y'all, <laughs> you. <laughs> he was cringe. I couldn't with him. This was bad. This is literally my worst movie of the year so far. They clone Tyrone. They cloning people, y'all. In this neighborhood, it's the white folks, cause you know, they always doing shit, you know, get out. They're doing some sort of experimenting on food, the hair, pro on everything, y'all. Everything. Don't trust anything because they're going to get you. They're going to clone you. There's a bunch of stuff and it's a conspiracy of what's happening and the control that they're doing and just, oh, everybody has to play their part. It's crazy, y'all. Um, It was a pretty, I'm going to say it was pretty great. Yes. I kind of want to say it was okay, but I feel like it was better than okay. Maybe if I put it under feel good and just take the feel out of it, then it's just good. That's where it's going to go, right? Okay, we're going to say that it's in the middle. It's a, it's a good movie, but we're going to put it under, under great. That G is also for, for good. <laughs> then we have Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Parte Uno. Okay, so we're kind of taking it back to like part one. Part two, y'all yeah, know I talked about those last month. I slept on part two. It's more of a actual spy movie versus what we've been getting as far as other Mission Impossibles, which are the ones that I really love. I love action-packed movies. It's like, whoo, yes, it keeps me entertained. I want to, ship, to see the shit blow up. But I, I don't mind spy movies either, like 007, the James Bond movies. Those are great. Uh, so this was like a mixture, you know, Tom Cruise, he's great, like, oh my goodness, like, the stuff that he be doing, y'all, I'm just like, dude, I can barely, like, walk and talk at the same time without trying to fall all, you know, on my face somewhere, but yeah, here you are, jumping off of stuff, jump, you do it too much. More, like, spy-ish type. I know people are having problems with the villain, which is an AI type of deal, but I didn't mind it just because I feel like it's something that could definitely happen in an RD age, which is very technology driven. It's not totally far fetched, but I get the dislike on it because uh, it's like, oh, it's just like an AI kind of deal. But you know, there's it's not the first AI controlled kind of robot movie, and I feel like this is a really good movie that falls within that trope of movies if that makes sense right uh it, action it's great um i wish there was more i feel like the main action parts were given in the trailer of course but i think it was a pretty great movie not my favorite james not james bond <laughs> my favorite mission impossible movie but i think it was still a good one uh, then we have disney's the haunted mansion and i didn't go in with very high hopes of this movie when i saw the trailer i was like okay you seem fun you seem like you're gonna be way better than eddie murphy's one which i really wasn't a fan of and it did it surprised me it exceeded my expectations were which were none but yeah it's really really great i think my really only dislike is rosario dawson's wig so i was just like what the like moment that she came out with that wig i said like, really that's I wonder if that was just like a stand-in wig and then they started filming they're like oh crap we forgot to change it oh well well this is where you're gonna stick with that now kind of deal but I thought it was a really good movie we're focusing on grief I like the ghost it is creepy 
okay so for the younger kids so just kind of be wary of that because there there are like a little bit of jump scares it definitely could be a little bit too much for the younger ones but it's also a good I feel introduction into the horror genre of movies so if you are like a horror parent you're like I have my kids and I want to get them into it this is a good one to kind of like introduce them in a nice friendly but there's still some spooky stuff happening transit like a transition I really loved it I know that a lot of people are like uh, about it but I enjoyed it a lot I thought I had a really really fun time with it all right Barbie Hammer time y'all okay I saw Barbie first and then I saw Oppenheimer the next week love my Barbies um when we talked about the Barbie movie I kind of gave my little story on it I finally get when other people talk about like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Batman the Flash you know just like all these other movies where they're like yeah like I grew up with this X-Men and I have that nostalgia feeling and you just feel some type of way and emotions that you have for it I get that now I get I used to be like oh, I don't know about that with Barbie I definitely got it because I was just like it was my favorite one of my favorite toys I love 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 my Barbies so I really really love the story feminist and all I just feel like if you're somebody who's getting upset over a freaking Barbie movie like a Barbie Barbie movie there's something seriously wrong with you because it's like seriously seriously because this is like literally like real things that we as women you know go through and like me even just wearing this top is it gonna like catch the wrong attention because my boobs I don't know where you know like are like is that gonna be an issue at one point I mean mind you I always literally wear t-shirts but it is hot so this is where I'm wearing so I'm a little bit more exposed but then it kind of goes into like you know America Ferrara's like whole uh, monologue speech I see the man getting upset because the man you know the kins are in the back burner the kins are basically the women at the end in this they have no say they have no rights and that should kind of show you just like a little smidgen of what a woman can kind of go through the way that nobody really cares puts us in the back the way that we fought for rights and everything they're being taken away from it but we're not a political channel here that's as far as I'm gonna go I really loved it honestly since I've seen the movie it has really 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 stuck with me and I feel like it's just kind of more love for it. It's growing. I think I gave it a medium popcorn, but I think it's like gone up to a large because it's just a movie that has stuck with me. Haven't like stopped thinking about it since I've seen it. And I just, I'm gonna put it under awesome. It's not quite yet a favorite of the year. I love the cast. I love the look of it. Love the songs and just everything overall about it. I was totally here for then we're gonna go to Oppenheimer all right so based on a true story acting is great Cillian Murphy for sure should get an Oscar nomination I mean obviously this movie is like Oscar like everything I feel like if you're a historian if you are literally like like a real critic you know me I'm just like your friend that's telling you about a movie I don't consider myself anything like that it's like here's Oppenheimer and everybody's literally like like eating that shit up like oh my god great movie really I was falling asleep during this movie as was that straight literally within like 30 minutes my eyes were closing I said oh my god oh my god and I'm like I wanted to walk out and leave I really really did but I stayed I stayed I know it's a great movie and I'm not just saying that because like it's Oppenheimer and everybody like I y'all know I don't care I could be like this it just wasn't for me I mean this really wasn't for me but I will give props where props are due this movie is fantastic this movie literally made me realize that Christopher Nolan is not a director for me really he's not um from all the movies that I've seen Inception oh yeah so here you don't see it Inception is one of my all-time favorite movies as well but that is the only movie of his that I truly love all the other movies literally I when I started thinking about it <laughs> I have fallen asleep in all his other movies every single last one of them I'm also not a fan of the Dark Knight trilogy I did review them 
yes i do have a review on all three of them they're like on my hit rewind playlist i mean i'm gonna put it under great y'all because it's it is a great movie it really really is a great movie it's just a great movie that i choose to not rewatch. <laughs> and i feel like everybody loves the movie like i don't think i've really heard people say like i don't hate it I dislike it whatever i don't hate it or dislike it don't put words in my mouth i never said that these are the movies that i saw this month let me know what did you think I know you're going to disagree on Oppenheimer. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. That is your opinion. This is my opinion. Okay. If you haven't already, give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, follow me on TikTok if you haven't already because I do also post um, some reviews on there as well. Just like quick little deals uh, because I don't really know. I guess another public announcement. I don't really know what my future here on YouTube is going to be anymore, to be honest with you. I've just been super unmotivated like my motivation kind of came back a little bit but at the same time it's like not really there anymore and I'm just like I don't know and I kind of don't mind just doing my TikTok videos as far as like reviews go just because it's so much quicker do plan at least remaining here for the rest of the year it's just more so 2024 I'm not exactly sure what that what what was it there in store for there because I, I do plan on you know finishing up my monthly videos like I said I'm not doing my board game wrap-ups anymore I am gonna still do my 13 nights of fright because I love love doing that series I always say that I'm gonna do it for Christmas but then I get so like uh for Halloween that by the time Christmas gets here I'm like I don't want to do it yeah that's kind of where I'm at now all right guys that is officially my last public announcement I think so <laughs> I think um yeah so until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye Thank you.